Welcome to today's episode of Combat University. Today I'll be using a scene between Godzilla and King Kong. All right, well in this scene, we'll have Godzilla confront King Kong, and King Kong, being the beast that he is, not taking crap from anybody, throws a huge roundhouse right into the face of Godzilla. Well, that's what we're gonna go over today. How do we defend against a roundhouse? Watch the scene, I'll meet you back here, and we'll go over on how to do that. So let's check it out. Okay, so we see King Kong coming, right? He winds up. He doesn't even hide it. He just puts all his power into it. So we'll be Godzilla. But for this one, I mean, he's got little arms, but we'll still figure it out. When we see him coming with this roundhouse, we're going to step forward and we're going to do our own, right? Boom, right here to the face. But we're going to follow up. We're not going to stop there. So strike. Bubble up. Knee to the groin. Again, we see the roundhouse coming. So we're going to block, step, roundhouse ourselves, come back, hook, hook, elbow up, knee. Punch. The reason we don't stop here is if you notice, happens in real fights too, but in this one here, you'll see King Kong punch, you'll see Godzilla get his turn to punch, but in real life it doesn't work that way. Some people will think they can knock you out with one punch, so they might hit and then just watch you. Well, that's what we're going over. So they're doing the strike, but we're going to strike, we're not going to stop, because if we stop, that gives them time to attack again. So strike immediately, hook, hook, elbow. Which then when you elbow, right, it pulls their body back. And when their body goes back, it's exposing their groin. So we're going to knee. Now let me show you how to do this technique if you only have a heavy bag. We see the roundhouse coming. So we're going to put our arm up to block. We're also stepping to the side, which gets us out of the way. So even if for some reason he did hit us, it's going to be less powerful because we're moving, right? If you stay right here or if you move into it, it's going to be more powerful. If we step around and go with it, it's going to be less powerful. So we see him here, we see it coming. Block, strike, hook, hook, uppercut, knee. One more time slow so you can see it. Block. Hook. Hook. Knee. Now one more time free form. If we don't have a bag or a bob. Hi. Hook. Uppercut. Knee. Now let's go over what would happen if we happen to get struck first, like what happened to Godzilla. Okay, so Godzilla got struck, right? What did he do? We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to come back and we're going to do our own roundhouse. Boom. But unlike Godzilla, we're going to follow up, right? If we have little arms like him, maybe we need to be closer. But either way, we strike. We're going to keep going. Hook, hook, knee. You can also change it up. 
if you feel uncomfortable here or maybe you stepped in wrong right not wrong just a different way and you elbowed here and you had your left foot forward just go to the other side knee you can also try these techniques from the other angle right so if he struck with his left you could step left block strike with the other side hook hook elbow up knee all right so we've been struck boom what did godzilla do he stepped right he looked at him and he came and he did his own strike follow up boom boom elbow knee so when you're being the aggressor it's not any different again so you're just going to start with the roundhouse you see that he's already trying to be aggressive he's already being overbearing you know that he's going to attack you so you just take the first move go ahead strike but follow up that way he doesn't have a chance to strike back okay so last time again we already see he's being overbearing we know we're going to strike first we're not going to wait for him we're just standing he can even sway back and forth strike hook hook elbow finish with a knee that's it for today's lesson thanks for watching if you have any ideas of any videos that you've seen or clips you want me to go over to show you, please let me know. Put them in the comments below and I'll go over those. But that's it for today's lesson. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Go practice this technique and I'll meet you back here next time to go over more self-defense techniques.